Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. You might have watched this Facebook video depicting a man in a white pickup dumping an old fridge. According to the post, it's apparently the third time he's dumped trash on a road in Dededo. No, he's not. Yes. No, he's not. This has got to go on property. It's a water well. No. It's a water well. Come on, boy. You're stuck already, buddy. EPA going to get you. The video went viral, shared multiple times across WhatsApp chats and neighborhood watch groups until it was forwarded at least a dozen times to Guam EPA, that prompting a full-on investigation. Keep a spokesperson, Nick Rupley Lee. In recent history, this is... The first time we're seeing somebody uh, in the act of, uh, of an apparent uh, violation. In this particular instance, you see a clear face, uh, you see a, a license plate that is, uh, that's visible. And so this was, this was very unique and, and uh, this, this did speed up uh, the investigation in terms of uh, identifying a responsible party. Guam EPA has since confirmed the identity of the man caught in the act. Rupley says the man willingly went to the agency to talk about his actions and is now facing a fine of no less than $200. That amount could end up being a thousand bucks if the courts find he's had prior violations. Rupley says Guam EPA works to respond to complaints and photos of areas littered in trash. But it's often difficult to issue citations, especially when no one was caught in the act. There are a handful of challenges. Uh, obviously, uh, limited agency resources uh, could, could prove uh, difficult. And, uh, you know, it's not just managing illegal dumping and solid waste that the agency has primacy over. The agency is scheduled to conduct a follow-up inspection at the Dededo site sometime this week. Members of the community are encouraged to send their complaints directly to Guam EPA. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Carmen Victoria Turlahi. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.